Well, following sellout shows all over Australia, the original dance and magical illusion sensation Celtic Illusion is here in New Zealand for the very first time. The 13 city November tour has just kicked off, and we have lead dancer, illusionist, executive producer, <laughs> hang on, and creative director Anthony Street here to tell us all about it. It's great to have you here, Anthony. Thanks for having me. Hang on, there's a huge amount of things that you're doing. You do all of those things. Yeah, I'm pretty busy. Yeah. I'm exhausted just even thinking about it. <laughs> okay, I want you to tell us about Celtic, uh, the, what, what you're here for, which is, of course, this Celtic illusion. What is it all about? Okay, so Celtic illusion is a dance and illusion sensation uh, that I created uh, about four years ago. Nice. Um, so when I was a kid, I was always into magic and wanted to have my own illusion show. I really looked up to like David Copperfield and magicians like him. So it was a dream I wanted to have an illusion show one day. And then uh, I took up Irish dancing when I was 14 after Riverdance first got premiered. And uh, when I started dancing, I had a dream to have my own dance show. So I thought to myself, I may not have enough time in my lifetime to produce these two big shows. I might try and put the two together and uh, do, them, do them at once. So yeah, so that's the result of Celtic Illusion. Yeah. So when you started thinking about it, and you went to people and said, I've got this great idea for a show. It's going to be Irish dancing and magic. <laughs> what was people's reactions? Uh, look, even to me, I know it sounds like the most bizarre concept and people are like, really? And I'm like, no, you have to come and see it to get what it is. It's it's not your average magic show where I put a girl in a box and cover it in half and stuff. They're by, dan well, by dancing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I always get that joke. So, yeah. um, so um, predictable. Yeah. <laughs> no, but um, but we have. I've, I've chosen certain effects uh, that that are. Um, mixed with the dancing and stuff. So we have like people appearing and vanishing, uh, instant costume changes, <coughs> uh, levitations. So there's like an element of surprise that happens when you least expect it in the dancing. So yeah, it's, it takes it to a new level. It sounds absolutely fascinating. No, and it's so good that you managed to combine them both together. Was it scary when you first started out, you know, going into business, you know, as the creative director, as the producer, as everything? No, because in my mind, it was, it was totally normal and it was going to work anyway. So it wasn't a matter of will this work. I, it was just in concrete for me and I was just like just charging straight forward to make it happen. And obviously you convince the right people because it's been touring very successfully in Australia. Yeah, it's it's getting bigger and bigger. Like the last year and a half is it's really snowball. Like it's gotten so much more bigger and we're getting um we're getting recognised overseas now by uh, even big illusionists and stuff are starting to recognise the show now. It's, the word's getting around, so we're getting interest in China now. So, but this is our first uh, international tour, so it's so pretty you're exciting. Coming to test the waters in little old New Zealand, yeah, right? we go to neighbors, China and the yeah. big place. I see. Yeah. I see yeah. what you're doing. And we love getting out and seeing shows. So New Zealanders, no doubt, will get your tickets and you'll lap it up. Um, I want to find out more about your background, though, because it says here on my notes that you were the first person to perform a lead and the first Australian to perform a lead in Lord of the Dance. Yeah. That's that's right. When you started out dancing, was that a goal you aspired to? You know, when I started dancing, I didn't even think I was going to make a career out of it. Uh, it, just, it was just a hobby that I took up. Um, but uh, after five years of uh, hard, like, hard working classes mm. and competitions, I got an opportunity to go overseas and join an international show, uh, which wasn't a lot of dance at the time. But then when I joined that show, I made more connections and then had an opportunity to audition for a lot of the dance. And again, it just turned into a career that did not expect. I used to want to work in television. Right. But um, I think, yeah. I think, I think you I chose think the right way. You definitely went the right way. <laughs> what was it like though when when you got the the lead, one of the leads, in, you know, Lord of the Dance, and people would then hear you speak because you obviously are not Irish. Yeah, no. They'd be like, my, oh, listen to him. Yeah, yeah when they hear the accent, they are uh, <laughs> like, what? But um, I remember saying to a friend of mine before I auditioned for Lord of the Dance, I was like, oh, it'd be amazing if I got into the show and then maybe down the track I could audition for a lead role. But uh, actually it was the second day of uh, the rehearsals. Uh, it was a trial rehearsal, so they took in about 60 dancers and each day dancers got eliminated to, to make this final troupe. But on the second day, the, uh, the director asked me to start uh, learning one of the lead roles. And I was like, is this, is this for real? Like, wow. And then... Yeah, I was I was doing leads straight away. Actually, it wow. happened really quite fast. Dream come true. Yeah, it is, and we are so lucky to have you here, Anthony. We want to learn more about the champion Kiwi dancer that I know that you have recruited. So, Anthony, uh, you have just cast a Kiwi in your show as well. Uh, she is dance champion Hannah Shackley from Christchurch. She's going to join the tour. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Thirteen-time national champion. Um, what better person to uh, take on for the show, yeah. So she hasn't been touring, she's going to join this tour with you? Yeah, she's making her debut on uh, on the 11th of our... Uh, what month is it again, sorry? <laughs> it's, it's November, you've been November, having a sorry, busy sorry, 11th, time, yeah. haven't you? Yeah. Well, you, 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 you yeah. just did all the things you've done, so no wonder he doesn't know what day it is. Blank, sorry. Yeah. Um, uh, how did you come across her? Uh, actually, a friend of mine uh, I used to tour with in, in Lord of the Dance is living here in Auckland right now, so I was speaking to her a few months ago and said, 
any dancer that are local that you know like you could recommend and she su suggested Hannah 13 time national champion mm -hmm. I was like all right perfect I had a chat to her and yeah Okay, I want to talk about the rest of your cast members because clearly there's a lot of people that are in the dancing world would love to be part of the show. Yep. How do you pick them? 16 or so, isn't there? There's about yeah. 16 performers. Yeah, we've got dancers, uh, a singer and two live musicians. Um, so I, I would hold on uh, an audition in each state and stuff and put the word out in the dance community. Uh, get dancers into a studio, teach them some choreography and basically, again, same as what it was with all the dance, a process of elimination. And some of these dancers that you've got in this cast have come from very impressive shows, haven't they? Yeah, that's right. We've got dancers from uh, both Lord of the Dance and River Dance, so we've got the cream of the crop, really. Yeah. I just got fascinated watching it on screen there and all those dancing. It's quite... It's Once you start watching it, you just want to start getting your feet moving, <laughs> don't you? Well, don't no, it. And I reckon it's the dancing, a lot of it's to do with the soundtrack as well. So tell me about that, because I reckon that's a whole new story. Yeah, the music is absolutely amazing. I've got music made from uh, Angela Little, who's done work with Baz Luhrmann on the film, yeah. on the film Australia, yeah. and also Steve Skinner uh, from New Jersey in America. He's worked with artists like Celine Dion, Stevie Wonder, um, all the big names. Wow. So we've got like some really amazing music. How did they come on board? Uh, well, my co-producer, who's based in America, he suggested to work with Steve Skinner, who is uh, one of the music musical mm. directors, uh, and Angela, Actually, I was talking to Angela before the show got created about working with her on one of her projects, and I, was, I had her kept in the back of my mind. I thought to myself later on the track, I might give her a call and see if uh, she's interested in doing the show. I, it was a big, uh, big risk to take because I was going to get someone from Ireland, right? But I figured I might give someone a shot here in Australia. They're close by. It saves me. Going to have a <laughs> Everything. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think and, it's a good and idea. It turns out it was the best move because we're constantly getting people saying the music is amazing. And I think you also proved that you don't have to be Irish to be good at the yeah, Irish exactly, stuff, like the dancing exactly, and yes. things. Us just, Aussies are proving it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, true. And you have to be skilled and you also have to know the right people. And clearly everything has worked and everybody's yeah. collaborated together for one incredible show. Yeah. Who should come and see it? This is a show for all ages. It's not just uh, your grandparents, which most people will assume because it's Irish dancing. It's for kids, it's for uh, girls, guys, fathers, it, everyone. There's, there's magic dancing, music, song. It's literally the family show of 2016. Well, I'm so intrigued. I'm going to have to definitely come along and watch it. Uh, don't miss Celtic Illusion, which is touring all over New Zealand for a strictly limited time right now and throughout November as well. Thank you so much, Anthony. It's been yeah, a pleasure to have you in thank here. You so much. Uh, check out the Celtic Illusion website for ticket details.